You win some, you lose some. Got one? Oh. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Golly, man. Stop moving, buddy. We're back anyway. Bad habits. I got a 16th ounce this time. Hopefully, I can keep it above the ground a little bit. Trying to keep it low to the ground, but above. Good morning, everybody. Well, it's not morning anymore. But um, anyways, we are back out at the lake. The reason being why I keep coming out here, I wanted to show you guys how big these panfish was, but um, is. But um, it's kind of tough right now with the cold front going on and everything. I got my buddy Dan with me. So um, we're gonna walk around and try to figure these guys out. Hopefully we do. Um, we already got two in the basket and hopefully we get some more jumbos. I really, really hope so. It's, it's still turning over, I guess. Um, the green film is still on top of the water floating everywhere the wind's blowing a little bit we're not supposed to get much wind but um if it keeps up with this what what we got i think we're, we're golden but i'll see you guys here in a second Got them. Oh yeah, they're up close. I was gonna say, I think I just got a couple of hits because I mean, this guy's loud. Yep. Oh yeah, this is what we're going for, guys. Oh, red ear, nice one too. Yep. Beautiful red ear. Like I said, if you can lip them, you can keep them. And we came here to keep. Maybe we can have a fish fry today. <clears throat> Let's hope so. He hit it up close, close. They're still here, bro. For how long? I don't know. What did you tell me when we was up north? If you ain't clipping bottom, you ain't fishing. Yes. I think that was pertaining specifically to Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it really, it really, Pertains to a lot of fishing, man. Like saugers, walleyes, and stuff. Oh, got him. Got him. My drag way too loose. Oh, yeah. Gilly? Come on, baby. Please be a gilly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No showers today, okay? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Beautiful, look at that, hand size, pan size, baby. <laughs> Good fish, yes, man. yes. Yeah, they're all silvered up. Yep. What I say, you guys, if you can lip them, you can keep them. And we're about to keep. You can kiss them, you can keep them. Oh. That's what you really said. <laughs> Why are you bringing up old stuff, bro? <laughs> Good thing we made a move, man. 
Good deal, pickle. All right, basically what I'm doing is trying to descale my fish, but I filled up the sink with a little bit of water because if you don't know this method, it prevents the scale from popping everywhere else. So it keeps it in the water, basically, and you can do whatever you gotta do. It doesn't go nowhere, see? It stays in the water. So it's nice and clean. So you can do it at home. You can do it inside the house. I was originally gonna do this um, out there, but uh, yeah, that's basically what that water is for. And then that's the scale right there. Perfect. Except for the top of his noggin. But that's a lot of meat right there, too. We're going to try to get everything out of here. All right. That one's done. We got uh, two more to go. I only caught three, but it was, it was more than enough. These guys are thick, man. It's more than enough for what I need to do. All right. My way of filleting might not be your way of filleting, but I go under this gill flap right by the gills right here, straight across diagonally like that. Sometimes I go like, I try to go around like this and then get the meat. But it's, I mean, it's a lot of meat, but not really. It's only a thumb piece, but here we go. Cut it straight down, all the way to the rib, uh, not rib cage, uh, spine. Get you a sharp knife. Now, go along the side. You gotta find it real quick. There you go. Now we're gonna, this is my first time butterflying a bluegill. Butterflying anything. And we're right there. Don't go all the way through. Keep that like that. And then peel that. Peel that back. There's some, uh, I never knew this. I never knew uh, bluegills had pin bone right over the rib cage. Never knew that. Now that I know that, I don't miss any more meat. Sorry, my hand's in the way. All right, just like that, but you keep that on. And I left the skin on too. More flavor. Now, same thing with this side. Right here, I have water. I'm gonna start it up. We're gonna boil it. That's what's gonna steam the fish. We're gonna start off low. It was just a netting underneath there, so I can put my fish right there. But yeah, since I have two fillets, basically what these onions are for is to keep the fish cooking like uh, thoroughly 
We're going to put his skin down. This is a bluegill. Usually, they let it cook for about, like, depending on whatever fish you're cooking, you let it cook for about seven, eight minutes. But bluegills are small, you know, panfish. So, I'm going to put two fillets on there. Just like that. Yeah, that basically, the onion basically lets the vapor, I mean, the the steam get underneath so it cook it all the way. I'm going to let that sit for like, say about four or five minutes at the most. Now, we'll make our little sauce. Turn this one on. Say about about five medium hopefully this little makeshift net that I got going on works let that steam once it starts steaming then I put the lid on it but this one right here here we go everything's already pre-mixed what I have right here is three tablespoons of soy sauce and three tablespoons of water. I wanted to do a catch and cook uh, for you guys out in the field, but had something to do today. So, and this is a third cup of I mean, tea, a third of sugar. Bring it up to a simmer, then take it off of there. Well, I forgot to uh, put some uh, I can't, I don't know why I can't think of this right now. Uh, golly, it's a root. Ginger, I don't know why I couldn't think of it. But yeah, that's to get rid of any fishy smell. Put a stock of um, uh, green onion. So, I'm gonna stir that. I kind of smush that. So. You wanna do that until the sugar is dissolved, and sugar is dissolved. Let that sit right there, let it simmer on its own. That is getting ready to boil. So, now we're going to put this in a little bit of, <clears throat> in a dish. Alright, we're probably good now, but I want to make sure. Oh yeah, it's golden. All right, so we're going to turn this heat on. Put a little bit of oil in here. Not too much. That should be good. Now, what you want to do is you want the ginger to brown. You don't want it to burn. You want it to brown. Keep stirring. Let it get that golden french fry looking. Just like that. I think I'm going to put it way way too much oil. You don't want to eat the ginger. Yeah, I put way too much oil. Way too much. But, I'm going to cut into this. Bluegill, steamed bluegill. Ooh, flaking apart. Yep. Bon appetit. Oh wow. Yeah, everyone keeps telling you to leave and you keep doing it. What mm. you're supposed to do is fight for the life that you mm -hmm. want. That's not what you asked me to do. Stop 
Mm-hmm. This is delicious. Oh, especially if you had it with rice. Oh, I can taste the ginger, the like pepperiness of the ginger too. Flaky, flaky meat. Mmm. Everything else is good. I'm gonna save the other one for my mother-in-law. Let her try it out. Oh man, with rice and with the skin on too. With the skin on? Can y'all see that? Wow. That skin soaks all that flavor. Mmm. Mmm. We will be doing this again. Mm. Well, I give this eight and a half. It's really, really good. It's, it's really good. I should have ate it with, with rice. But we'll try this recipe or something else. Either white bass or hybrid bass. We'll see. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But um, if you haven't tried this, you guys need to try this recipe. I'm like, I'm, I'm serious. Steamed fish. If you guys like what you see, please leave me a like. Comment down below. And if you're generous enough, please hit that subscribe button. It don't cost nothing. It really doesn't. It helps me out. It helps the channel out. Something like this. Every time we cook, we're going to cook something different from different parts of the world. And then seldomly, we'll do some um, our own fried fish. But until then, I'll see you guys out on the water. Peace. I'm out.